greetings. I just traced my laptop case to make a DIY tote. And in this video, I also go over a little life update. So if you want to chill with me, then keep on watching. How's it going? It's me, Sophia Stiley, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video. We're going to be making a tote bag. It's going to be like a Brandy Melville dupe tote bag. I don't support Brandy Melville, the company, and I don't buy Brandy Melville, only secondhand. So I thought, why not show you how I would make one of their pieces, um, specifically a tote bag. This is a little wonky. It's missing the other strap. And, you know, I really love this fabric. I got it from Hobby Lobby. And I feel like there's so much potential in this. Right now, it looks like it's together, but it's really not. I tried to sew it with my sewing machine, and I don't really know how to use the sewing machine properly. So, I kind of, yeah, need to redo it. So, I'm going to basically take it apart. I got this tool today. It is a seam ripper and I'm going to be removing all the thread, getting back to my pieces of fabric and just hand sewing it. So I thought it'd be a very chill video. We can catch up and I could show you what I would put in my bag because this is gonna be my bag until my other purse comes in, which I think you'll eventually see in one of my videos. Netflix. Does anyone speak English? I finally got all the thread out and this is what we're looking at. It's a lot of thread. And um, as you can see, there is no more black thread in here. So I'm going to thread a needle with some white thread and I'm gonna get this party started. It's now the next day and I've made lots of progress on the tote bag. I'm actually putting the finishing touches on it right now. So I thought it would be a good time to kind of sit down, chit chat, fill you in on life, that sort of thing. It's been a while. I haven't really filled you in on what I do for a living and where I'm at and you know where my heart is. So. Yeah, um, I have been working at Lifetime, and Lifetime is like an athletic country club. That's what they like to call themselves. Pretty cool. It's all about a healthy and thoughtful lifestyle. I'm a member concierge, so I check people in, help them with questions, take care of account information. So some office work, some interactions, some tours, you know, good mixture, keeps things interesting. I really like it and it's a good fit for me. Of course I have dreams and as much as that's a passion of mine, the lifestyle, which is what I like to do here on this channel, um, fashion is my main passion, something that makes my heart soar and I wanna share with you guys more too. Um, so that's what I wanna be doing and I want to go back to school so so bad there's some things that are kind of in the way of that mostly just me you know holding myself back so I want to take care of what I need to take care of and just dive right in because I really did enjoy college and I miss it and I want to start working towards my dreams and 
that's what I feel like my dreams are. After taking off some time, taking some time off from school, I feel like I know, of course, that may change and I can mold that as I go. But if I don't start and if I don't go after my dreams, I feel like that's going to be one of my regrets in life. So, yeah, um, I want to go back to school soon. Um, my job's been going really well, though. And I actually just won the Smile Award at work. And, like, I am so, so grateful. It was such an amazing feeling. And the Smile Award is to, goes out to someone who really, like, demonstrates a positive attitude, I believe. And so it was just such an honor and really makes me feel recognized at work, which I think is so important. And I, like, really hope everybody does feel recognized where they work. And if not, I think it's so important to find the place that does recognize you because you are so amazing. And... You should be appreciate you should be appreciated that's how i'm doing and i hope you're doing well feel free to let me know how you're doing in the comments 